Imagine a world where the last rhino has fallen silent, or the majestic tiger is just a ghost in old photographs. This isn't a dystopian fantasy. It's a chilling reality for species we once thought invincible. We're about to uncover the shocking truth behind the extinction of some of our most iconic modern animals and what their stories tell us about our own future. Number 10, the passenger pigeon. We begin with a story of unthinkable abundance. Just 200 years ago, the passenger pigeon was the most numerous bird in North America and perhaps the world. Their flocks numbered in the billions, a force of nature so vast they darkened the skies for days. Their sheer numbers made them seem invincible, but this abundance was their downfall, leading to merciless commercial hunting on an industrial scale. Until the last one, Martha, died alone in a zoo in 1914. Subscribe, like, and hit the hype button to play our biggest game ever. Find the hidden logos in this video. Count them up, enter your number on our website for a chance to win one of our five rewards of $5 each. Number nine, the quagga. This remarkable zebra of South Africa was a living piece of art, famous for its unique coat that was striped on the front and solid brown on the back. They roamed the Karoo in vast herds, a common sight for early settlers. Tragically, they were seen as competitors for grazing land for sheep and cattle. They were hunted indiscriminately for their skins and to clear the land, with the last wild quagga shot in the 1870s. By the time people realized it was a unique species, it was already too late. Number eight, the golden toad. Extinction isn't always loud, sometimes it's silent. In a tiny high altitude cloud forest in Costa Rica lived the golden toad. For a few short weeks each year, the forest floor would come alive with these brilliant fluorescent orange amphibians. But in 1989, they vanished. The culprit wasn't hunting, but a deadly combination of climate change and a fungal disease. The golden toad was the first species to have its extinction formally and directly blamed on global warming, a beautiful canary in the global coal mine. Number seven, the thylacine, the ghost of Tasmania. This unique carnivorous marsupial was the apex predator of its island. Blamed for attacks on sheep, a government bounty was placed on the thylacine, and it was hunted relentlessly. The last known wild thylacine was shot in 1930. The last in captivity, Benjamin, died of exposure in 1936, just 59 days after the species was granted official protection. Its extinction is a tragic story of persecution and a conservation effort that came far too late. Number six, the Steller Sea Cow. In the 1741, shipwrecked naturalist Georg Steller discovered a gentle giant in the Bering Sea. The Steller Sea Cow was a colossal 30-foot long relative of the manatee. These slow-moving, toothless giants lived in family groups and fed on kelp. Tragically, their discovery was their death sentence. They were fearless and easy targets for sailors who hunted them for meat and fat. Just 27 years after they were first described by science, they were gone forever. Number five is not a species, but an individual. Sudan. He was the last male northern white rhino on Earth. He was not a ghost or a memory. He was a living, breathing creature, a global icon who carried the fate of his entire subspecies on his broad shoulders. Guarded day and night by armed rangers, his lonely existence was a powerful symbol of our failure, but also of our capacity for love and protection, even at the very end. When he died in 2018, we witnessed extinction in real time. Number four, the great auk, the original penguin. 
Before the name was applied to Southern Hemisphere birds, the penguin was the great auk, a large flightless bird of the North Atlantic. They bred in massive, noisy colonies on remote, rocky islands. Like the dodo, they were flightless and fearless of humans, making them incredibly easy targets for sailors who hunted them for food, feathers, and oil. The last two confirmed individuals were killed on an island off Iceland in 1844, and their single egg was crushed under a hunter's boot. Number three, the ivory-billed woodpecker. The Lord God Bird. This was North America's largest woodpecker, a magnificent ghost of the southern swamps. It depended entirely on vast, untouched, old-growth forests, which were systematically destroyed for timber. Officially declared extinct in 2021, the ivory bill persists as a phantom. A handful of tantalizing, blurry videos and unconfirmed sightings keep the hope alive for many that this spectacular bird still flies, a ghost in the last remnants of its lost world. Number two, the Baiji, the goddess of the Yangtze. This beautiful pale river dolphin was a unique freshwater mammal that navigated the murky Yangtze River using powerful sonar. For 20 million years, it was the river's apex predator. But in just 50 years, industrialization, overfishing, and pollution destroyed its home. Despite frantic last-minute conservation efforts, the baiji was declared functionally extinct in 2006, the first dolphin species to be driven to extinction by human activity. Number one the Western Black Rhino. This is not a story of past centuries. This happened in our lifetime. The Western Black Rhino, a majestic subspecies once roamed widely across West and Central Africa, but it was targeted by a brutal and sophisticated wave of poaching driven by the demand for its horn on the black market. Despite conservation efforts, the last one was seen in 2006. In 2011, it was officially declared extinct. Its story is a stark reminder that extinction is not a historical event. It is an ongoing crisis. Congratulations! You found the code! These are not just stories about animals. They are stories about us. They are verdicts on our past actions and warnings for our future. Each extinction tears a thread from the intricate tapestry of life on Earth. But the story is not over. The fight to protect the Sumatran rhino, the Amur leopard, the vaquita, and countless others continues every single day, waged by dedicated people on the front lines. Their stories prove that it is not too late. Thank you for bearing witness to these lost icons. If their stories moved you, let the algorithm know. Consider subscribing and activating notifications to join the conversation. We'll see you then. That was awesome, dude!